Hi, I'm Cameron Hughes. I work at Erickson Foundation Solutions. I'm a foreman here and I do radon mitigation. So the first thing you want to do is establish a good point for the penetration. You want to be about six, seven inches off of the wall so you're avoiding the footer. And then after that, you want to get the pipe fit in. We use a three inch schedule 40 pipe to run up the foundation wall. And then you want to exit out of the house to hook up to the fan. So you're gonna send the pilot bit out of the house right above the rim joist. And that'll establish a good spot for your fan to be set up. Once you get outside and you see the pilot bit that you sent through, that gives you a good idea as to where the fan is going to be located. You can then take the hole saw. We have a three inch hole saw that we cut through the siding all the way into the inside of the house. After that, you are set to put a pipe in the house so you can meet up with the pipe that goes down into the first penetration. Once you're hooked up and you have the pipe fit in at the bottom, you can 90 onto the pipe that goes to the outside of the house. After you got the 90 to the outside of the house, you can go ahead and put the fan onto the pipe. When you're putting the fan together, you wanna to make sure you have two Fernco's on top and bottom that you're gonna hook up to the 90 that hooks onto the pipe that goes to the outside of the house. And then the other one is going to have two fittings that can match up the angle to hit the house so the fan is nice and level. When you're putting the moisture guard on, you wanna make sure that you hook up the three inch piece to connect both the 45 to the moisture guard and then to the fan. And you want to have the hose bypass the fan back into the pipe going down underneath the slab and then the water will have a way to travel down the pipe. And then you're putting the first set of pipe into the fan running it up the house. You wanna get a bracket on there so you can make sure that it'll stay nice and sturdy. Once you have a good idea of the pipe and where it's going, you can make sure that it's nice and level, nice and straight. And depending on the story, you can go all the way up to the soffit of the house and 45 around the soffit. Depending on how big the soffit is, you're going to extend from your 45 out over the soffit so you can connect to the stove pipe at the top of the house. We have a muffler system that we put on the end of the stovepipe to kill some of the noise that the fan will make. After we wrap things up with the fan on the outside, we're gonna head on inside and we're gonna grab that power cord that we run through the house, through a pilot hole, hook up to the power box, and then we can start to nexus around the penetration to make sure that the pressure is at the appropriate level. Towards the end of everything, as we're wrapping up, we like to do a nice quick sweep make sure everything's cleaner than when we arrived. Uh, do a final walkthrough with the homeowner, make sure that they understand how the system operates and how everything works. And that's how you install a radon system.